So the Granum is one of our first dry flies that appears in our trout short stream season uh, and it really drives the trout crazy. Uh, so to start we've got a size 12 or 14 hook in the in the vise there, uh, some Semperfly Nano Silk in, in brown uh, and we're just going to lay our first thread turns. The reason we use the nano silk is we want the strength of the thread uh, for later on uh, when we're tying in the wing material. Just put a nice thread body on there and take take it right to the bend of the hook there. And first up now, we're going to add a little bit of dubbing. And uh, believe it or not, we're going to use a nice caddis green colour and we only want a very small amount and we attach that to our thread just a nice noodle and you'll see on the granum caddis itself it's got this little green end to its body and we want to replicate that when we're tying the pattern Next up, we want to build up the body material. Here we've got that common dubbing African goat. I'm just applying a nice amount on there. The reason I use this dubbing is it's very similar to seal's fur, which gives it a really bushy profile. Lots of leggy bits that help it float on the surface of the water. Don't worry about it looking too messy on here. We're essentially just looking for a good covering, something that's going to give this fly plenty of plenty of buoyancy and plenty of profile. Make sure you leave plenty of room at the front of the fly there because we have to fit the wing material in, so I'll stroke that back and just put some extra securing turns of thread in the front already you see it taking shape there now for the wing uh, we're going to build this in two parts and that's why we leave plenty of room at the front our first utilizes the joys of CDC uh, the feather, the buoyant feather from the rear of a duck and for this particular one I've got a nice cinnamon colour and that's because for anyone that's seen the granum uh, there's this wonderful balance of, of quite light colours and, and also the darker brown on top. When we're matching that up we want it to overshoot the body. So all, all caddis flies have a wing that covers the entire length of the body and rounds over it in a tent shape. So to tie that in we've got three feathers here, tips all matched together, we just clamp that with our thumb and forefinger, take our thread up and pinch down so we can pull the thread right down on top of those and a couple of securing turns before we release it. Sometimes just because of how we put the pressure on it will wrap a little bit so we just want to turn that back round and the joy of using a stronger thread is we can put a lot more pressure in there and really secure it in. Fold those tag ends back and just put a couple of locking turns in. With my caddis fly, to, I usually cut those off nice and long because I want the fluffy finish around the head of the fly because the caddis head is quite bulbous as well. Our next step, and helpfully I prepared this earlier, is then to match some deer hair on the top. So we're going to take those, 
again a nice cluster and we're going to match it up roughly the same length as the CDC there and the same process so up between the thumb and forefinger but don't pull straight down straight away have a few loose turns because we don't want that to open out like a shuttlecock so we're just putting a little bit of pressure on on the turns towards the head we can really pull down but going back we're just building reasonable pressure so we're not getting too much splaying out and now let's get it also trim these nice and long make sure that you get all of the loose bits out there's always a couple that hide and you'll see the fly's really taking shape now and the very final bit because we don't want that thread showing on top of the on top of the wing there is we take some of our body material that we used so that same dubbing again and we just put a small amount just to tidy up that thread around the front so you see you've got that nice head format the tent shape and now we can take the thread just round behind the eye of the hook and for those that use a wet finish tool this is the time to get it out and just secure your thread there and I always do a lock in one for good luck and then we go in with our scissors and we nip out the final bit and there we have it the Granum, perfect for early season trout fishing on our short streams. This one's going straight in my box so we can head straight off to the river.